All right. So let we're gonna just start sitting up nice and tall, um, in Baddha Konasana, or um, a bound angle pose. No, that's not. Is this bound? Yeah, Baddha Konasana. So remember, your soles of your feet can be together. You can bring them as close as you want to your groin area, or you can take them as far away as you want. All right. So just come into this posture and ah, just notice everywhere your body's touching the ground. So feel those hips reaching to the ground. And sit up a little bit tall and lengthen your spine. And then your head and necks are relaxed. Your eyes can be looking straight forward. Your hands can be anywhere in your legs that feels comfortable. And then just start breathing, focusing on your breathing. So as you breathe in, you're just gonna feel your belly fill with air. And then exhale. So nice long breath. So start to breathe in nice and slow. Three, two, one. You can always blink your eyes closed here if you'd like to. And then exhale. Three, two, one. So as you're inhaling, you're filling your body with air, lengthening your spine, creating some space. And then exhaling, let anything go that you don't need in your body. Just three more rounds of breath like this. So all through class, just start with your breath and then work into the pose. So your breath should be leading you the whole time. So breathing in, lengthening, and breathing out. Good, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your face muscles and your jaw. Shoulders are relaxed while your spine is long though. So spine is nice and long. Inhaling. Alrighty, last one. You can blink your eyes open and then take your hands and press your thumbs into the soles of your feet. And then you're just going to sit like this. You can bring your hands behind you and if this is enough for you, you can stay here and lengthen your spine and sit up nice and tall. If you want to try to go a little farther, you can come forward with your thumbs on the soles of your feet. And this time we're going to round over. We're not going to use a flat back here. So you're going to round forward. You're going to use those elbows to press into your shins. And you're going to inhale, lift and lengthen that spine and then just fold over. So you're just rolling over, trying to bring your nose to your toes. It might not get there. It's just where we're going. So come back to that breath, inhaling, lengthening your spine, exhaling. This is when you get to release on that exhale. So inhaling and exhaling. So using that breath, seeing where your body is moment by moment and just going to where it feels good for you. Only you can know about your body today. So feeling those hips come open, feeling those inner thighs start to open up. Maybe you'll feel a little pull, a little stretch on your glutes, back on your glutes. But everybody's different, so just use that breath to get in touch with your own body. Inhaling one more. I'm just going to look dim my light a little bit. <laughs> All right, one more breath. Everything should be opening up about now. Mm, starting to feel good. And then come back up. A nice, easy seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Okay, now we are gonna do um, knee to ankle pose. So you're just gonna bring that left leg parallel to your mat. Um, now everybody's hips are gonna be different. And then you're going to bring your right ankle 
up to that right knee. So your shins are gonna try to be parallel. If you have a pillow, you can put it um, between your um, right knee and a left foot because you're, or it just might be up where it is today. So your shin should be parallel. And you're gonna sit up and lengthen that spine again. Take your hands behind you again for this pose. This might be enough for your hips right here. This could be opening those hips. Everybody's different. So bring your hands behind you, sit up nice and tall. Stay right here, or you can bring your hands forward. And with a flat back, we're gonna go forward. So today is all about those hips and your hamstrings. So we're just opening up those hips. Wherever you feel too tight, just use that breath and go a little more forward or stay where you are. So breathe in. We're gonna do five breaths here and breathe out, flat back, fingertips walking forward. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, releasing. Seems like hamstrings are always tight no matter what we're doing walking, sitting on the couch, hiking. <laughs> we can always lengthen those hamstrings. Inhaling, lengthening. On your next inhale, pull that belly button to your spine. Pull that navel in, feel those abs activated. Exhale, lengthen your spine, create that space. One more time, inhale, pull that belly button to your spine, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Good. And inhale, walk back up. All right. So we're going to do cow face pose. So you're going to take your right foot right here, and you're just going to cross it over, and you're going to bring your knees a little bit to, your, to the center. So you want your right foot behind you and flexed, and your left foot behind you and flexed. So just rearrange however you need to do it. If you can bring your right heel back to your um, back towards your glute or bring it up farther. But you just want to have your spine lengthened and your knees somewhat together. Can you do that, Gina? Um, well, I, I think you can do one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. My knees. Your knee. Um, does it hurt your knees, Liz? Okay, forget cow face pose. We're just gonna go to the open legs, okay? Cow, fo cow face pose is tricky if I can't see you guys. So, so sit up nice and tall with wide legs. Now remember, your legs might not be able to get that wide. You might be right here today, and that's fine. Just go to where you can, okay? And then bend your knees a little bit, flex your feet, and then during the pose, try to straighten your legs. And again, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Good. And this might be good enough for you. You can put your hands behind you. So remember, you're lifting, lengthening that spine. Most important thing in breathing. So if you want to bring your hands forward, you can. You can walk your hands forward. If you have anything in front of you, like blocks or a pillow, you can grab those. So we're gonna do flat back here too. So through the whole pose, flex your feet. Feet are flexed. We're gonna do five breaths, nice long breaths. So wherever you are, you're gonna feel that stretch, flexing those feet. Inhaling and exhaling, five rounds of breath here. Inhale, exhale, reaching forward, or just sitting up nice and tall. It's whatever feels good for you. Inhaling, we're just giving those hammies and thighs a stretch, and exhale. Inhaling, and then exhaling, and then walk back up. Good, walk back up. And then um, bring your left leg in, right leg out. All right, so I, th I think we've all done these usually at the end of class. So left sole of your foot on your right inner thigh or down lower, just be careful of that knee. And then inhale your arms up, and then a little twist to that right foot, flex that right foot, and then reach your arms down towards your foot. If you can get behind the sole of your foot, that's fine. Or you can have it on your calf or your thigh. So flat back here, inhaling, five breaths here. Really getting deep into these stretches today in these legs. And then exhale, forward fold. 
So pull your belly button into your spine as you lift and lengthen. And then exhale. So if you're, so your whole body's working here. If your knee is bent, your work is on straightening that right leg. Your um, elbows are close to that shin. So you want those elbows close to that leg. Inhaling and exhaling that flat back. Neck is nice and long. Relax your neck wherever it is. Gazing at your big toes, a good drishti. One more. Good. And then walk those hands back up. We're just going to take it to the other side. So just switch legs. So right sole your foot on the inner left side. Left leg is flexed. Straight out in front. A little bit to the left. Then inhale those arms straight up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Feel all those sides of the ribs stretching up. Um, little twist to the left. And then exhale forward fold. Bending your knee here as much as you need to. Flexing that foot protects the knee. Reaching for your calf or the big toe or the sole of your foot. So inhaling and exhaling flat back here. And your work is trying to stretch that left leg out. Good. Keep that right leg active, pressing that right sole of your foot in. Five breaths here. Relax your head and neck. Gaze at that big toe. Elbows squeezing towards that thigh, uh, towards your shin. <laughs> your whole body's working. Inhaling, exhale, working on straightening that left leg. All right, last one. Walk your hands up. All right, um, and then I think we just have to do the left side of our, of our, what do we do? Oh yeah, the, um. So just come forward, bring your uh, left leg, uh, bend it so the left shin is to parallel to your mat. And then we just have to do the, not cow face, what is this? Knee to ankle pose, right? So take your right ankle and put it over your left knee. Just gonna do the other side. And remember, you might have a space there. And if we did, did we do this side? Maybe we have to do the right shin parallel to the mat, yeah. Right chin parallel to the mat, and then take your left leg, left heel over your right ankle. Yeah, I think we did that other side. Whatever side we didn't do, I think it's our left leg on our right. <laughs> I added this part of the class in. <laughs> this isn't even the class yet, so wait till that happens. All right, so sit up nice and tall. So shins are parallel. Should be the opposite of what we did. Probably your left. Can you do that, Liz? Is that hard? Is that too hard? Too hard. Okay. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, it's it's hard on your hips. Okay, release. Let's get out of that. Now we'll get to the fun part of class. All righty. So ah, so you're gonna turn around on your mat. Soles of your feet are gonna be on your mat. All right. Your palms are gonna. Your fingertips are gonna reach towards the back of your mat. Ah, you're just gonna sit up nice and tall, lift those shoulders, head and neck are nice and relaxed throughout the whole class. All right, and you're just gonna drop your legs over to the right. They're open, so you're just dropping them over to the right. And we're not gonna collapse our chest, we're just gonna sit up. And then I want you to feel this left thigh kind of coming into your hip socket. So left thigh pulling into that hip socket. It kind of makes you sit up a little taller kind of just engaging that left thigh. And breathing. Good, and then just inhale nice and slow. Pull your belly button into your spine. And then you're just gonna take it, your legs over to the left or the other side. All right, fingertips still pointing back. So engage, feel this right thigh. Just like, you know, feel it come into your right hip socket. And then that'll just engage that leg and then lift up your chest. So breathing, good. And then pull your belly button your, to your spine and come to the center. And we're just gonna few, do, just do a few right and left, a little bit faster. So just right and left, right, nice and slow. Pulling that belly button to your spine, lifting up your sternum and your chest. Relaxing your head and neck though. Whew. 
this just feels good. <laughs> Take it right and left. Uh, okay, and then just stop right in the middle. Feet are planted into the ground and you're just gonna lay down. Lay all the way down. Ha ha, all right. This is a good yoga class today. All right, so walk your feet just a little bit in towards your, um, towards your tush. Not too, too, not too much. All right, now we're just gonna work on your foundation. So feel, feel your feet planted on the mat, okay? And then scoop your tailbone up to the sky, which really is pressing your lower back into the mat. So scoop your tailbone up, just presses your lower back into the mat. Pull your belly button to your, um, pull your belly button to your spine. You can even touch it if you need to, that's what we're feeling. And then feel those lower ribs kind of wrap down. You can even put your hands on your lower ribs. This is all basically to protect your lower back. We want to protect that lower back. So if you kind of rock your hips back and forth, if you rock them up, you can feel your lower back is off the ground. And then if you rock, can you guys see me? Oh, I don't think you can see me. Yeah. All right. So if you, um, so if you rock your pelvis, if you rock it, if you rock it back and forth, if you put your hands underneath your low back, you'll see where your low back's supposed to be. So if you scoop your tailbone down, then you can feel your the lower back pressing into the mat. That's where we want to be through these poses. So you kind of just scoop that tailbone up, press your back down, um, belly button into spine, and just lengthen those lower ribs. All right, take your arms to a T and just knock your knees in. And just breathe here. So work on that foundation. So scoop the tailbone, lower back pressing down. Belly button to spine and lower ribs pressing down. All right. Um, if you have, I meant to tell you, if you have a towel or strap or anything around, you can use that or we can, you can just take modifications. Okay, so you're gonna bring your right knee into your chest. Ah, uh, good. And you're just gonna bend that right sole of your foot up to, up to the sky. So your knee can be bent. And let's just start with that foundation right here first. So you're gonna press your left leg into the mat. Left leg's pressing into the mat. We're not doing anything crazy. We're just really gonna stay here today. So press that lower back into your mat, navel into your spine, lower ribs down. All right, and now remember, feel that thigh bone coming into your femur, your femur bone coming into your hip socket. So now we have gravity helping us. So you can put your hands behind your thigh and just start to lift and lengthen that leg towards the sky. You might be here, but we're just gonna work on straightening it. That's where the work is. Make sure that left knee comes back in. Don't let that left knee go out to the side. And just breathe. So breathing, your breath is gonna lead your body today. So just point and flex your foot, point and flex, point, flex. When your breathing gets a little stuck, you know, that's where you need a little work and you need to back off when you can't breathe anymore. So just keep breathing and it'll guide your practice today. Point and flex and then just roll that right ankle to the right, roll it to the left. All right, and keep straightening that leg. Keep reaching that sole of the foot to the sky. And you're feeling your right thigh come right down into that socket. So that's where it's coming from. You're, you're starting the, the stretch from right down here. All right. Oof. All right, and just bend that right knee. You're just gonna take your left hand on the outer part of your left foot, okay? So left foot, remember, start with that foundation. Left foot's pressing into the mat. This is different than we usually do. We're not really leaving the mat today. Um, so you're gonna take your right hand on the outside of your right foot. I had the right hand there, wrong hand. Okay, and you're just gonna open it up to the side. Same action here. That right hip is pressing into that right socket. Um, pressing down to that left foot, right hip crease is reaching towards your mat. 
right sole of your foot is reaching up to the sky. Your left hand can be out in a T or can be on those lower ribs, keeping them down. So breathing. Right sole of your foot's reaching up. Right hip crease reaching down to the mat. Breathing. Good, and then slowly take that right sole of your foot up to the sky. Reach behind your leg. Right foot is still flexed. You can bring your hands behind your head. We're just gonna do a few, like 10 sit-ups here, nothing, nothing big. So pull that belly button into your spine and then lift up and then release it. And that head is cradled in your hand, so just a nice cradle. All right, and release. Inhaling, exhale as you release. Left foot's pressing into the mat. Think of that foundation. All right, breathing in, breathing out. Four more to go. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, one more. One, hold it up, hold, 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 hold. Press through that foot, nice and straight. Good, and then release. Okay, drop that foot down to the mat, and then you're just gonna drop your knees to the left. Arms are gonna go out in a T or on your lower ribs. Ah, uh, if you need more, now your lower back is coming off the mat here. So here, your lower back's coming off the mat. If you need a little more stretch, take your left foot and put it on your right thigh. Tuck your chin a little bit to lengthen your spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Let your shoulder blades relax on the mat. Shoulder blades, letting gravity help. Okay, good, come back to center. Pull your belly button into your spine. Use those abs to come back to center. All right, bend that right leg. We're gonna do just a little bit more on this side. Take that right leg out, good, and flex that right foot. So remember, you can be here, you can be straight. Um, you can be on your calf, or you can take your two fingers and your thumb and wrap it around your big toe, or you can use a dish towel or a strap. That left knee, don't let it turn out. Bring that left foot down on the ground. Okay, foundation here, remember, um, tuck your tailbone, belly button to spine, lower ribs down. And then just try to straighten wherever you are. You can put your hands on your calf or your thigh. So we're just working on straightening. Bring that knee closer to your um, nose. So knees coming towards your nose. Good, inhaling, feeling a nice long stretch on that right leg. Inhale. Use that breath and then exhale to straighten. So inhale, exhale, let it release. Keep that foundation. Keep those lower ribs down. Inhale. All right, last one. Bring your shoulders off the mat. Flex your foot. Three, two, one. Good, all right, drop your foot down here on the mat. Okay, bring both knees, both knees are next to each other. You're just gonna open up that right knee. Just open up that right knee. Like half Baddha Konasana. And then take that left leg straight down. So left leg is straight, right leg is in. Then you're gonna put your hands on your lower ribs. If you want, you can take them to a T or up to tree pose. So we're doing a reclined tree pose here. Hey, baby. So remember to bring those ribs in, belly button to spine. Breathing, stretching. Ah, should feel really good. Inhaling. Good. And exhaling. 
Last one. Bring your knee back in. Bring other knee back in. Good. And we're just going to work on that other side. So start with that foundation. Tuck that tailbone under. Belly button in. Lower ribs down. Take that left leg up. So remember, you could be here. Left leg is bent. Right knee's going to spiral in. Inner thighs spiraling toward each other. Just going to... Oh, can you feel the difference from left to right? We must have stretched out that right leg nicely. Okay, so you're going to feel that stretch on the back of your leg, your hamstrings, okay? And that glute. So point and flex that foot. Point and flex. So you're trying to bring that knee to your nose. That's what we're trying to do. And we're working on straightening the leg. Like I said, it might not straighten. This could be your work today. Your work is straightening. But let's point and flex for a few more. For five, four, three, two, one. And then do some ankle rolls. So roll that ankle to the left. And then roll that ankle to the right. Good. And then flex that foot. Good. Inhaling. Exhaling. Pulling a little closer. Back to that foundation. Right foot's in the ground. Lower back pressing down. Ribs are in and down. Good. Whew. All right. Bend that left leg. Take your left hand on the outside of that left foot. We're going to do that half happy baby or some people call it stirrup pose. So your hand is in the sole of your foot. And then you get that action. Get that femur bone into that socket. And then it's just going to open up. So sole of your foot is going to come to the ceiling. Um, left hip crease is going to be reaching down to the left side of your mat. Look at your right knee. Make sure it's not going out to the left. Bring it right up to center. And then breathe. So inhaling. Good. Feeling those right ribs tuck. Feeling your ribs tuck in. Good. So left sole of your foot reaching towards the ceiling. Flex like it's walking on the ceiling. Feeling and left hip crease is opening up. Really feeling that left hip open. Whew. All right, pull your belly button into your spine and then bring that knee back together. And then bring drop that left foot onto the ground and drop your knees to the right. Just drop your knees to the right. Arms can be in a T. Shoulder blades, let them relax on, on the ground. Lower back's going to be off the ground here. Lower back is coming off. If you need a little more stretch, take your right foot and put it on your left thigh. You can gaze right up at the ceiling. Pulling that spine nice and long. And then just breathe. See where your body is. Inhaling. And exhaling. Good. And one side is definitely going to be different than the other. So be curious to see if your right side was tight or your left side. All right. And inhale. Again, bend that knee. Come back to center. And then just take that left leg up to the sky. Wait, no. We already did left it. Did we? Wait, no. We're on our left, right? Yeah, take your left leg up to the sky. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> left leg up to the sky. Good. All right, this time keep that foot flexed the whole entire time. Bringing that knee into your chest. This is where you can take your two fingers, try to grab that big toe, wrap it off with your thumb. Or just your calf, or right here, bringing that knee to your nose, stretching out that left back of that thigh. Oof. Left hammy. So come back to that foundation. Right sole your foot in the mat. Tailbone tucked under. Belly button in. Ribs are down. You can always touch those ribs or your belly button. Sometimes it helps to feel that. Oof. Okay, good. 
just bringing that knee to your chest, stretching, stretching, inhale, and then exhale, feel a little bigger stretch, a little bigger stretch, that doesn't sound very yogi. All right, and then wherever you are, just lift up, bring your hands behind your head, and we're just going to do eight little pulses here. So eight, seven, lower back, pressing into the mat, sole your foot reaching to the sky, keep breathing, lift, release, head's nice and relaxed in your, in your hands, four, three, two, the last one, hold it up, hold, 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 try to get your knee to your nose, good, and then relax, nice job, take those legs over to the right, Whew. arms out to the side, just feel that stretch, if you need more, take that right sole of your foot on your left thigh, lower back is coming off the mat, All right, unwrap that, take that foot back on the ground, right foot back on the ground. Um, both feet press into the ground, knees are bent. All right, and then we're just gonna roll over to your right. Let me see what time it is. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Okay, roll over to your right. Okay, bear might be in my way. Okay, so I want you to take your right arm down. Bear, I'm just gonna move your paw. Um, right arms all the way down, bend your knees to start off with, um, your, your right ear is on your bicep. So it's just like a nice sleeping pose, but you're not going to fall asleep. Left hand is, uh, on the left fingertips are on your mat. All right. I think I need to take off my glasses for this. All right. So straighten your legs, stack one leg on top of the other. And that left hand come to your fingertips. If you feel like, whoa, I'm falling over, just take that, that left hand. It's going to stabilize you. All right, so feet are stacked on top of each other. Flex those feet. Activate your whole body here. And then we're going to press up. So your right elbow is going to be bent. And then your hips are going to be stacked. Good, good. And if you start rolling back, roll forward. So you're going to roll forward and lift your sternum. All right, um, bend your knees in, and then bend your left knee. Remember that femur is coming into, that bone, that thigh is going into your hip socket. That's where um, we're starting this action from. And then you're gonna grab your left big toe. So don't collapse here, don't collapse it up. And then you're gonna start to stretch that leg up. So you can just play with this. Uh, your head and neck are relaxed. Don't collapse here. Um, you can straighten that right leg. So here's many, many options. You can straighten your right leg out on the mat, roll forward, keep your chest up, work on straightening that leg, or just play around with it. Stay right where you are, or you can be doing this on the ground. This whole thing can be on the ground with your wherever you are. You can bend that knee, work on it from here. So we're just playing and working. So wherever you are, you're straightening that leg. And then with your um, two fingers, wrap around your big toe, try to pull it towards your eyes. So wherever you are, try to pull that leg towards your eyes with using your muscles in your left arm. Straight. Two more breaths here, so breathing in. Good. And remember, just play around with it. It's only the three of us. <laughs> the four of us. <laughs> so just don't collapse down. I know we're holding these poses a little bit longer today, but the more you hold them today, it'll start releasing. So just two more breaths wherever you are. Remember, head and neck are relaxed. Roll forward. Two more breaths. You're going to feel that whole left side of that leg opening up and stretching all right and then exhale release 
and then just come up we're just going to switch sides all right so we're just going to go down to your left side and we're going to do the same thing okay so left arm reach out legs are long flex those feet ah so left ear is on your left bicep right fingertips on the mat so come forward you can make sure you don't fall if you fall backwards it's okay just come forward so legs are stacked just breathe here remember you can do the pose from down here you know where we're going or you can come up bend that elbow shoulder right under the elbow nice stacked chest is lifted so remember those lower ribs don't let them collapse so those ribs are up okay and then you're going to bend those knees and then take your hand on your right two first finger and second finger close it off with your toe you stay right here if you want or straighten that leg so remember you're just playing around with straightening where you are but remember keep lifting up lifting up so inhale lifting and lengthening good options straighten that right bottom leg good let your head and neck neck be relaxed if you fall back that's good because we're working on our balance i heard today that uh keep stretching <laughs> that when you're walking or running you're stopping yourself every time you walk take a step or take a run you're stopping yourself from falling so you're working on your balance every day because if you didn't take a step forward, you would fall. Somebody told me that today. But so you're working on your balance all the time. All right, so inhale, press up. I don't know if that makes too much sense, but. All right, so play with this. If you want to come back down, lay down. We're going to do two more breaths wherever you are, though. So if you are working on straightening that leg, you can start bringing the, the toes to your eyes. toes to your nose so where you ever you are inhaling and exhaling all right last one inhale and then release wherever you are lay back down nice and long left ear and your left bicep good and then you're gonna just come back up to a seated position good so we're going to, um, believe it or not, that's kind of what I have for you today. <laughs> I'm going to give you a nice meditation at the end, but let's do one more Baddha Konasana. See if you are a little bit more open than when we started. See if those soles of your feet can be a little more, a uh, little closer into your groin. All right. Lift and lengthen. This time we're going to do it with a flat back because we're pretty much warmed up. Push the thumbs into the sole of your feet. Inhale and then exhale. Do your flat back now. And then I, you should see how those hips are a little bit more open than when we started. You can even rock them left and right a little bit. Good. And then inhale, lift and lengthen. And then um, straight flat back here. So inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward folding. Good. Relax your head and neck. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward folding. One more nice deep breath here. Inhaling, stretch that spine forward. Inner thighs opening up, hips. And exhale, let it go. So round over here. See if your nose can touch your toes. Round over, nose towards toes. Good. Inhale, roll up. Take those legs straight out in front of you. Oof. All right, roll side to side a little bit. Give those little um, glutes and hips a little massage there. Lift your arms straight up. Straight up to the sky, flex your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Really stretch up here. Lift and lengthen all sides of your body. And then exhale, forward fold. Keep that length, keep that length. Bend your knees if you need to, keep that length. Drop your hands on your feet or your shins, but keep that length. Gaze at your toes, that's your drishti to help your neck relax. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale forward, fold. Work on straightening your legs. 
breathing in, breathe out, release on your breathe on your breath, on your out breath, on your exhale, or we could say exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen that spine. And then exhale, whoo, let it go. Good. I don't know about you, but the backs of my legs are kind of shaking. All right, inhale, come back up to nice seated position. And then you're just going to come over to your back, feet on the mat, hold on to your shins, and roll yourself all the way down one vertebrae at a time. And then we're going to come into final Shavasana. But I have this really great meditation for you. But I want you all to just lay on your backs. So arms can be as wide as your mat. Legs can be as wide as your mat. Just feel your whole body. Wherever the mat's touching your body, let your body just relax into the mat. Let gravity take over and do all the work. All right. And just return that awareness to your breath. See what's going on with your breath, breathing in, breathing out. All right, so this is called a 61 point um, meditation. So just follow along. When I say um, each part of the body, just let that part relax. So you can even breathe in and breathe out when I say that part of the body. So whatever part I say, just let it relax and um, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Kind of stay awake. All right, so just be patient. And this can be very, very effective for your meditation. Okay, so some people even like to picture like a blue light touching where I'm gonna say, or you can just picture it with your mind. You can also, you know, just take that deep breath in and breath out when I say it. Okay, bring your awareness to the, relax the base of your throat. And then relax your right shoulder. Relax your right elbow and your right wrist. Relax your right thumb, your right index finger, your right middle finger. Relax your right ring finger and your right pinky. Relax your right wrist, your right elbow. Relax your right shoulder. Relax the base of your throat. Relax your left shoulder and your left elbow. Relax your left wrist, your left thumb. Relax your left index finger, your left middle finger, your left ring finger. Relax your left pinky finger. Relax your left wrist. Relax your left elbow. Relax your left shoulder. Relax the base of your throat. Relax your heart center. Relax your right chest. Relax your heart center. Relax your left chest. Relax your heart center. Relax your navel. Relax your pelvis. Relax your right hip. Your right knee. Relax your right ankle. Relax your right big toe, your second toe, 
your middle toe. Relax your fourth toe. Relax your right pinky toe. Relax your right ankle. Relax your right knee. Relax your right hip. Relax your pelvic center. Relax your left hip. Relax your left knee. Your left ankle. Relax your left big toe. Relax your left second toe. Relax your left third toe. Your left fourth toe. Relax your left pinky toe. Relax your left ankle. Relax your left knee. Relax your left hip. Relax your pubic center. Relax your navel center. Relax your heart center. Relax your throat center. Relax your third eye. Relax the crown of your head. And relax your whole body. Take a deep breath in. And then let it out. Good. Bring your awareness back to the room where you are. All right. Start to wake up your body. Just wiggle your fingers and toes. You can roll your wrists and ankles. And when you're ready, roll over to your right side. You can hug yourself in a little ball. Bring your knees to your chest. Nice and slow, no rush. And then roll over to the right. I know, I brought you out of that too fast. And then whenever you're ready, come up to a seated position. All right, good. Ooh, sit up nice and tall. Cross your legs, crisscross applesauce. Bring your hands together. Just bring to your, just um, bring your chin down a little bit to your chest. Um, the light in me honors the light in you. Thanks for coming today. I hope you had fun. Namaste. Happy Memorial Day. Namaste. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, sure. How'd you like it?